So I am a structural engineer who through dedication, commitment and curiosity has managed to triangulate architecture, engineering and education. My first reaction about being told that I won this SOM medal was humbling and emotional. I was of course blown away by it because it's not something that is in my vision as an engineer. At the same time, it's given me fuel because this idea of combining architecture, engineering, education without becoming an architect or an academic is something that persisted and pushed hard for, particularly in the practice. So I was pleased that I could now use this as another badge to say, look, what I'm saying makes sense. So AKT is a design-led studio of engineers. So we're about 300 people here. And we have um, amongst that all the generations and 50 nationalities. And it's that chemistry of that shared pessimism, optimism, but also passion in the same spot in London that actually makes the work what it is. The kind of projects we do range. The majority in the last 25 to 30 years, which is how long we've been around, have been in London. The Bloomberg headquarters is one of them, for example, Google's headquarters, which is under construction now, or the Crick Institute, the biggest laboratory in Europe, most of King's Cross, many projects at the Olympics, but we have an international reputation. I think a low carbon future is in some ways a phrase that downplays it. What we have to do is recognize the enormity of the challenge we face. On the one hand, um, that can be scary, but I'd like to think that hope can turn into possibilities. I believe that there are ways of finding victories in, in, the, in the next 20 years through policy, through design, through change. I really do believe that we have tools to do that as a scientist and education is one of the ways in, in which we can do that. And I think it's part of the duty as a professional, as a human being, especially right now. In the next 20 years, we have to question what humanity is. I'm looking forward to the Son Medal Lecture in November. I don't think I'll be pulling much punch punches about profession or the state of education or the absence of uh, a reality in some of the headlines that I see in the press. And I'm hoping to excite people, get them thinking about it. Not controversy for the sake of controversy, but a reassured stability, which is what structural engineering needs to provide, uh, and confidence.